All right, uh, another new component. If you go to Adela Pragmaflow servers.com slash install component, you'll see the arbitrary JavaScript component. And this will let you just write some code. Uh, I know we're in a no-code platform. I know, you know the reason why you're using a download is because you don't need to write code. But every once in a while, you might find that you just wish you could put a little bit of code in because you found something really cool that you want to add. So if you want to see the source, Pragma Flow Inc. and download arbitrary JavaScript. Now let's just jump right in. So I've added a couple of these uh, on this window. And let's just go through and see what they do first. So I just made this simple little calculator and we'll say two plus five and an equals button. So when I do this, it calculates two plus five, which is seven. Uh, two plus five equals seven is something that Adalo probably does and probably does better than what this component does. But what if we wanted, because we work in combinatronics and, and do combinatorial mathematics, what if we needed factorials? So we needed the actual factorial of seven. Well, I've created this button here that will now calculate the factorial of seven, which is 5,040. If we go and change this to seven, we get nine. We check the factorial, we get 362,880. Uh, so that's the factorial. Now, writing JavaScript is more than just adding numbers together and running functions to do different mathematical operations. We can also do some other things. So I've created this button here. And when I click on this, it opens the print window. So now I can actually print the page uh, as we saw it. We can do lots and lots of other things. Again, this is just writing code, so you can write anything that you want into it. Let's go look at what the component looks like. So I will add another very JavaScript component. And I'll hit pause because my daughter is in the room. Sorry about that. So we've added this new component here, and this is the script that we're gonna run. So var a equals one, var b equals two, return a plus b. We're gonna set this to true and we wanna execute it. So if we want, if we wanted to just instantly execute, we can just write the word true and we see that it opened up three. Now there's two actions. Um, if it's a string result, or if it's a numeric result. So this is where it's gonna be a text. This is where it's gonna be um, a number. And if it fails to run for whatever reason, it'll have, this will happen. Anybody who knows JavaScript uh, who's listening to this, this will actually return um, or it'll resolve promises. So if you have something like a fetch, this will resolve the fetch for you at, as well. Two limitations is uh, we don't, we can't work on collections and we can't work or return collections. So this is for, for single text only. So now if we look at what the calculator did, all I did was instead of bar A, I took the value of the input. And instead of bar B equals two, I took the value of another input and added them together. These are strings, we want numbers. So we just add the plus sign, which is standard JavaScript so that we can actually get these as a number. And that's it. Let's look at this print button. So the print button changes an input to true and that input to true triggers triggers My arbitrary JavaScript three, I'd assume, no. Fifth times a charm, there it is. So when I click on this button, it will just set this to true, which calls the window print. 
um, and the Windows print would open the print dialog. If we looked at our factorial code now, so if we want the actual value to be returned, we have to use the return character. So to do the, the factorialization, I've copy pasted this from the internet where it goes through and calculates you know, the number times the factorial of the number minus one. And it uses the input nine to actually do the factorialization and return it to me. So, so that's it. So we can actually start writing a bit of JavaScript to, to do some utilities. I wouldn't do anything too crazy with this, but if you need to do um, string manipulation where you want every other letter to be capitalized or you want to remove uh, any kind of special characters, you can easily do that using the arbitrary JavaScript component.